Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm uh, feeding the cows this morning, so I thought I'd uh, kind of show you guys uh, how we do that. So the, the first thing we do when we get here in the morning if we're feeding is uh, so we'll grab the skid steer, it has the, the feed pusher on it. We'll, uh, we'll push up feed in all the pens, look at how much feed there's left in all the pens. And then it's up to the feeder to decide if we need more or less feed in every pen. So I'm just looking at these uh, two pens here, pen one and two, they look good. So I'm just going like, to get in the skid steer, start pushing feed. And yeah, I'll uh, kind of take you guys through a, a day as a, a feeder. So I'm in our north barn now. Uh, these are the, the two first lactation cow pens. So you can see this left pen here, they've got a little bit of feed left. This right pen is pretty low. So I'm gonna adjust this pen up a little bit. We'll usually, uh, if we need to make any adjustments, it's just small, maybe I might adjust these 1%. I think I might do two. And it's also the feeder's responsibility to keep the feed alleys clean. So I'm just gonna grab this broom here, broom up the ends. I usually do the, the insides of the barn in the morning right away and then I'll do the outsides by the doors when I go to feed uh, those pens and when we feed, we feed two pens at a time so I'll come in and feed these two pens and then the next load will be those two pens and so on I'm just by our shop now I'm gonna go start this payloader and then go grab the tractor Turn on the scale. Turn on this tablet. This is what has all of our feeding information in it, and this is connected to the scale on the feed wagon. So we use this computer to uh, adjust the feed in all the pens. So we can go in here, uh, change pen, target weight. Pen 1 and 2 are good. This pen 7 was just a touch low. Just that up a percent. And pen eight was a little low. That was uh, those were the two bunks that I showed you in in that barn. I'm just gonna adjust that up. Uh, I'm gonna adjust that up two percent. And then pen nine was a little high, so I'm just gonna bring that down a percent. So the idea with uh, uh, leaving a little bit of feed in the bunk is uh, that we don't want, our, especially our milking cows, our fresh cows, and our uh, close-up dry cows, we never want those cows running out of feed, because that uh, typically means that we're losing milk production. So we're, our goal is uh, to have about 3% or so left over in the morning, and that comes out to be about a skid steer bucket worth of feed that's how uh, that's how we kind of gauge that and we'll take that out um, and then we'll uh, deliver them fresh feed and the feed that we take out we don't throw that away we'll uh, throw that in their mixer again with a ration for our heifers that's designed to use that uh, leftover feed from our cows so we'll feed all the leftover feed from our milking cows to our heifers and our heifers will eat uh, pretty much everything that we give them we'll let them we're, on the heifers we're kind of shooting for them to clean the bunk out I guess I should say so now we'll start mixing so we have our ingredients here on the left and it'll show each in the ingredient individually and I have a clicker inside of the payloader and every time I've I finish an ingredient, I click the button, it goes to the next one. 
We'll uh, turn on the PTO. On these uh, newer fence, you have to put the PTO in automatic mode, otherwise the PTO will shut off when you get out of the seat. So I've got that uh, blinking there now, that means that the PTO is in automatic mode, then we'll, we'll rev up the engine. Going for about 950 RPMs on the PTO shaft. Then we'll go grab the payloader and start feeding. It's a little bit later in the morning here. Um, just starting on my fourth load. For the third load for the milking cows, I didn't feed our, just feed our close-ups. So the, the first ingredients we put in is uh, baleage and hay. We'll grab that here with the gravel. And I can see there on the side of the feed wagon how many pounds that I'm supposed to put in. that we're feeding will pop up on the screen there and we try to get within about a hundred pounds either way so I have a clicker in my hand here every time that I'm done with an ingredient I can push the clicker to go to the next ingredient Distillers, beet pulp, earlage, uh, corn silage, and then molasses. And then we'll go to the pen, clean whatever feed is left out, come back, grab the feed wagon, and empty it out. Shows on the screen canola, so I have to get the next ingredient is canola meal.
So now I'm gonna head over to the tractor and we'll drive it over to our shop where we fill with molasses. So I put this on hold, uh, we drove to the shop, we'll take it off hold and go to molasses. In here is our molasses tank. It's uh, basically it's a byproduct from the cane sugar. We'll flip this switch, turn this pump on. Molasses starts coming out of the pipe there and basically the way that this feed mixer works is there's three uh, vertical augers on the floor and they're mixing kind of like a blender making an even mix of feed in the feed wagon. So we'll let the tractor sit here and mix and then we'll drop the skid steer and go clean the bunk uh, by the two pens that I'm about to feed here. So like I did this morning, I'm gonna sweep up the ends here and then we'll uh, go by with the bucket, take out whatever feed's left. The cows on the right here, they're in the parlor right now being milked. So they'll come back to their pen with uh, new feed. And then the pen on the left, they're gonna head to the parlor uh, just about as we're unloading feed here basically. Here. Drive along the edge, push it together in a pile, and then scoop it up. in the tractor now I'm gonna go unload uh, this load of feed for those two pens where I just cleaned the uh, bumps. So we'll back in, feed one pen and then back down again feed the other pen. So we're feeding about 75% of uh, these pens feed now and then we'll come back this afternoon and top them off. We do that with all of our high production pens. Couple days later here my camera was just about out of batteries and I didn't want to put new batteries in it. Um, wanted to end the video about there anyways otherwise it's gonna get too long. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an overview of our feeding. Uh, there'll be more 
feeding videos in the future i'll show you some of the different loads uh, that we make uh, maybe next week i'd like to talk about all of the different ingredients and the different rations that we're feeding our cows kind of show you guys uh, yeah the different feeds that the different groups of cows and calves and heifers get so that'll be it for uh, this video hopefully you enjoyed it uh, if you have any questions put them in the comments and i'll try to answer them and yeah we'll see you in the next one